Hi guys, Ahmed here. Uh, now, just a while ago, Optolong Filters, uh, they they got in touch with me and were just appreciating uh, the work that I've done in the past, uh, just some of my deep sky images and my nightscape images. Now, while we were having a discussion, they, they asked me if I used any light pollution filters and yes, in the past I have, and I'm really happy with those. So these guys were asking if I was keen on getting one of their new filters, which is the which is the Optolon L Pro filter. Now I've been happy with my filters, so I wasn't really out in the market to buy a new one. But uh, I kindly uh, asked them if they were keen on sending me a few of their filters so I can give them a test. And they happily agreed, and here it is, they've sent me their three filters, which is the CLS, that stands for City Light Suppression, really good for taking nightscapes um, when you're in the city. Uh, these, are, these are really good for suppressing sodium and mercury lights. Uh, the UHC, which is the ultra high contrast, uh, these are really good for, again, the same uh, cutting out the light pollution, except it passes narrow wavelengths of light than CLS. So this has a higher contrast, which is what UHC stands for, ultra high contrast. And if you notice, uh, these are also EOS FF, which is the EOS full frame. Uh, they also come for the EOS crop sensors. So go have a look at their website. And of course, the L Pro, which is their most anticipated filter. Now, the reason they are bringing L Pro out in the market is because, unlike CLS and UHC, um, L Pro filter does not give a strong color cast in the final images. So, it's a lot more easier to um, get rid of that color cast in the post process. So yeah, now let's open these guys. So that's what you get. Okay, and that's what you get uh, straight out of the box. Now, obviously I've opened this before and have tested them. Now, one thing I've noticed is once they're out of their packing, you kind of don't have any label to say what filter it is, which kind of, it's not a deal breaker, but I would have preferred having some kind of label which says which filter it is, because you're obviously out there at night, and if you're out in the field, you kind of want to quickly have a look at the box and just pick up the right filter rather than opening it up and then checking to see what filter it is. But it, so what I mean is, you see there's no labels out there, but if you open it and take the filter out, you should be able to see it says Optolon UHC. Um, so that's kind of a good thing, but I would still prefer a label right at the top. Uh, now, even though it does not come with a label, I just picked up a marker and wrote down the names on it, so it's easier for me to see which filter it is. And uh, yeah, so those are your filters. Now, how do you get these filters on? Now, these are called the clip-on filters, which means they clip in, in between the sensor and the lens. And uh, these, I prefer them because I can just use a filter and choose to have any lens on my camera rather than having a, a screw-on uh, filter which then requires adapter uh, step stepper adapters but uh, well it kind of works the same way but I, I personally just prefer the uh, the clip on ones now uh, the camera I'm going to use this is the Canon 6D and I'm using a 24 millimeter lens on it uh, just to have it in there uh, now so you turn your camera on okay to start with you have to put it in your manual mode once that's in there, go into the menu, and go into the second option, and find your mirror lock. Now, by default, it will be off. So this is what you would see once you get in there. And you go in, uh, enable it, and click OK. Now, once you do the first click, you, would, you will hear the mirror lock up, which is that. 
Once the mirror is locked up, you open your lens and you should see you've got your mirror open. Now just pick up one of these filters. And once it's there, you just slide it on. Okay, now once it's there, uh, once it's in there, uh, it'll just be like that, and then you put your put your lens on, and uh, you're good to go. Now, sometimes these filters won't fit in perfectly. Sometimes there is a place, and you might have to kind of wiggle it around and see how it fits perfectly. In this case, it has fit perfectly, but I think one of the filters, I think it's the CLS filter, that kind of has a play. But uh, if you just yeah fix it properly it will it will be fine so once that's in there you just pick up your lens and put it back on okay so once it's in there let's just go back to the camera okay so if you notice uh, i'm not sure if you can see but if you see there's a really good um red color cast in there uh, so this is, I believe, the UHC filter. Now, UHC is really good for hydrogen alpha fields because it gives up that beautiful red color. Uh, so, yeah, so this is how the UHC would look like. Now, I will just open up the Elpro, like Dave mentioned. This is supposed to give less color cast, so I'm going to lock my mirror up again. Lens. So that's nice and snug, and I put this back on. And back to the live view. As you can see, there's significantly less uh, color cast. So this is what the L Pro filter is. It has really less color cast, which is which is really good. So that's the UHC. Now let's see how the CLS holds up. Like I said, oh, the CLS filter does not fit in perfectly. If you can see it moving around so just put this back on yeah that's that's done pretty well and you can see again CLS has this nice little uh, pink red uh, um, color cast uh, so yeah so that's how all these three filters work so yeah there it is now um, I'm going to upload a few images that I shot with these and so yeah they'll probably be in the link somewhere or in the description and I'll probably put an article describe uh, just uh, putting in the differences and uh, I'll probably upload one uh, uh, one image each uh, taken from these images so you can just download them and have a play. So yeah, uh, thank you. Uh,